Well, you, you talk about personal responsibility and the president's care. Let, let's look at what Deputy Campaign Manager Stephanie Cutter had to say this week about the attack in Libya that killed the four Americans. The entire reason uh, that uh, this has become the, the you know, political topic it is, is because of Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan. Do you really believe, David, that the concern over Libya is just politics that's been ginned up by the Romney campaign? Look, I think there are two separate issues. Obviously, there's a serious issue here. We've just been discussing it for several uh, minutes, and it's, it's, it's an essential matter that we get to the bottom of what happened, uh, that we bring the, the terrorists to justice. Uh, this president is totally committed to that. There's a separate issue of how Governor Romney has, uh, has handled this. I, I refer you back to the famous 47 uh, percent tape uh, in the spring, where Governor Romney told in, in private, told his supporters that he was waiting for a crisis, waiting for an incident to jump in on, uh, on national security, and he did. He jumped in right away the day of these uh, attacks with half information in a way that was denounced by both Republicans and Democrats, and there's no doubt that he's working hard to exploit uh, this issue, and I would point to the fact that the, this morning uh, in Bloomberg News, uh, you, uh, Chris Stevens' dad uh, said that he regretted that that people were trying to exploit uh, this issue. And I think we ought to follow the lead of the ambassador's family and allow this investigation uh, to run and get to the bottom of it and make the adjustments that are necessary. By the way, in wait, that wait, same... Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. In David, that, in David, that, in that David, same wait, interview, wait, wait. David, wait a minute. Interview, you, this Mr. is the first U.S. ambassador that has been killed since 1979. Susan Rice came on this show and five others and gave the American people a story that turned out to not to be true. And you're saying that we shouldn't discuss this? That we should wait and for the investigation to be completed no no that's no. what you just said that's obviously that's obvious Chris calm down that's obviously not what I'm saying I just said I just, you just said we should you follow wait a minute minutes. you just said I'm we should follow the lead of, Chris, I'm of happy, Chris Stevens I'm, father. I'm happy I'm happy to discuss it with you, uh, and I do think that it's worthy uh, of discussion. I think that's different than the manner in which Governor Romney has conducted himself. And it's not just me who uh, attacked him for the way he handled this. He was roundly criticized by people from right to left, the Republican establishment and the Democratic You're establishment. You're talking about what he said the, the day he after the attack. For the way he You're talking about what he said the day after the attack. Issue. I don't think anybody so, I mean, is that, criticizing him for what issue. he's saying now except the Obama campaign. Well. Uh, I'm, I'm just telling you that from the beginning of this issue, before any facts were known, he was uh, cravenly trying to exploit it. And look, that's politics. I understand that, Chris. I understand the whole deal. We're in the last three weeks of a campaign, and of course Governor Romney's going to be out there talking about this issue. But the president's concern, the president's concern is to get to the bottom of it, to bring the terrorists to justice, and to make whatever adjustments are necessary based on the investigation to ensure that in the future, that if there were... Uh, if there were lapses, that those lapses are addressed.